Up, up and away! The helicopter manufacturer Eurocopter relies on Acrylite for its glazing. And a play of light and color, the 6th Frankfurt Luminale shows impressive applications for Acrylite. An EC-135 at takeoff. The multi-purpose helicopter rises weightlessly into the air. This helicopter is manufactured by the Franco-German company Eurocopter. It is often used as a rescue or police helicopter. The main German office is located in Donauwörth in Bavaria. Eurocopter is a global player. We are the world's leader in the civilian helicopter market. We already deliver products to more than 149 countries. The EC-135 is also manufactured here. One feature of this agile helicopter is the large field of view for the pilot. This is made possible by an acrylite glazing that has to meet special requirements. By using acrylite, we're able to reduce the weight by about 50%. Anyway, we don't and we can't use common laminated glass because it doesn't provide proper protection against bird impacts. Acrylite provides total safety for both the pilot and the passengers. Acrylite has a long history in aviation. It has been used as plain glazing since the early days. At altitudes up to 10,000 meters, it has to resist extreme UV radiation as well as pressure and temperature fluctuations. The glazing for the EC-135 is manufactured by Josef Weiss in Hoffelding near Munich. In aerospace, quality has to come first. The material, the processors, up to the completion of the work at Eurocopter, everyone has to guarantee a perfect job. We rely on the material certificate of Evonik. That means it has a specific batch number, thickness and optical quality. And we guarantee with our certificate that we treated and shaped the material properly and that our final product meets the optical quality our customers demand. Here, Acrylite GS245 and 249 are used. They were specially developed for aerospace applications and meet the highest optical standards. To turn a sheet of acrylite into helicopter glazing requires technical know-how and years of experience. Established processes, for example, deep drawing, cannot be applied here. The peculiarity with this process is that we have to obtain high optical quality, so we can't use a vacuum for shaping because this would create too much area pressure. That's why we do it in what we call a stretch-pull process. We use a special lubricant that can be washed off after the process is finished. In this way, we obtain absolutely clean optical quality. The sheet and the mold are heated up in an oven. When the optimal temperature is reached, everything has to go very quickly. Together, the team places the acrylite sheet on the machine. The mold with the lubricant forces the material upwards. The front glazing of the EC-135 is taking shape. When the glazing has cooled down, the lubricant is washed off again and again until it is absolutely clean.
Then a first visual inspection is carried out. The glazing must not show any errors or distortions. If it is flawless, the edges are cut off, first roughly, then more and more finely. Again, precision is demanded. The tolerances here are minimal. Finally, the completed acrylate glazing is pre-mounted and goes for a final check. Only if everything is absolutely perfect is it delivered to Eurocopter. The glazing arrives at its final destination in Donauwörth. Our acrylite glazing is delivered about three days after we ordered it from Josef Weiss. We always have five sets in stock. Each month we use seven sets of glazing, but we also supply our customers worldwide with replacements. One set for the EC-135 contains front, side and rear windows, all made of acrylite. At the front, the two parts are first matched with the helicopter. When both parts fit perfectly, they're screwed together and finally sealed with a special sealant. Little by little, in many single steps, the helicopter evolves. Seven EC-135s leave the factory every month. Overall, more than 1,000 have already been delivered. What is it like to sit on light? These brightly lit park benches with the name PHAS, please have a seat, are just one of over 170 events at the 6th Frankfurt Luminale. As it gets dark, all the beauty of this art emerges. High quality stainless steel and eight millimeter thick Acrylite GS are combined with the latest LED lighting technology. In this way, Bernd Speaker's benches become a real experience for the users. As well as participating in the Luminale, Manali in Frankfurt, the Acrolyte seats are also part of this year's Light of Jerusalem Festival, where 10 works are presented directly in front of the city wall. Another part of the Luminale is the light and sound installation Resonate. It is a project developed by the Interior Design Degree Program at the Mainz University of Applied Sciences in cooperation with the Academy of Music in Mainz. By interacting with sound strings, the visitor can generate individual sounds that are visually translated into light waves. So, the surface of the exhibit acts as an interface between sound and light. The project was impressively implemented using acrylite satinice.